The Wednesday Night Wars are right around the corner, and I think we can all say that it is a damn exciting time to be a pro wrestling fan. It is a time that there's so much wrestling going on, whether you're a WWE fan or you're a New Japan fan, or you try to watch a little bit of everything in between. There's so much variety now. But not much is brought to the forefront. I mean, think about it. I think a good majority of wrestling fans nowadays only grew up knowing WWE. I mean, think about it. I mean, if you're born like me in the 90s, you watched WWE and you either knew about and or watched WCW. You didn't know about New Japan Pro Wrestling. You didn't know about CMLL. You didn't know about any other wrestling companies except for the two that were on TV. And the same goes for the generation now. I mean, I have a little sister who's 15 years old and she grew up watching wrestling just like me because by virtue of me watching wrestling, she watched wrestling too. Now, I don't live with my little sister anymore, so I can't really tell you if she watches consistently anymore, but from what I, she talks to me just about every other day about Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, like what's going on with the women's wrestling. That's her thing. She likes women's wrestling. That is her main concern when it comes to wrestling she wants to see how the women are doing and you know i always get the conversation started about her with monday night raw and smackdown live and how they're treating the women's wrestling and this is coming from a 15 year old girl now she's not a smart <laughs> not yet not yet i've tried my best to protect her from all of you smarts out there trying to trying to get her into dirt sheets and i've tried my best to keep her away from that so far she only knows about what's going on on tv not what's going on backstage but she's often very upset about how WWE treats the women she says oh the tag titles don't get enough time and the women only get a few minutes every single week and ronda rousey isn't there like her concerns aren't really like biased unless it's towards Naomi, but like she brings up a lot of good points of why WWE's women's division is kind of trash right now. And I can't help but agree with her. So I told her about AEW. I told her about all the wrestling and, and double or nothing. And she was like, she just didn't care. She's like, eh, I don't know anybody. The first thing she says is, I don't know anybody on that show. And that's the first thing you're gonna find with a lot of wrestling fans that you're trying to get into AEW is that they don't know anybody, so they don't see a reason to watch. Now, of course, she knows who Chris Jericho is, and she knows who Cody Rhodes is, but everyone else is just a mystery to her. When it comes to the women's division, there's no one in the women's division that she knows about. So she's like, eh. So Fighter Fest comes around, and she's like, eh. Then watch Fighter Fest. So then Fight for the Fallen comes around. She's like, eh. Like, I don't really care. So now All Out is around the corner. And I'm telling her about it. And she's still like, eh. Like, eh, I don't know anybody. But I tell her, well, they're having a casino battle royale that's all women. And she's like, you know what? I might check it out. Why? Because WWE is not doing a good job with their women's division. So here comes this new company. And there's a potential for her to get into a company that might do their women's division much better. So she says, well, I'll check this out. And we're one week away. And I can't say or tell you that she's excited because she doesn't know anybody once again. I've showed her the video packages for the show leading up to it. And she's like, okay, this is, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a new thing to her. It's a new thing to a lot of people. And this is a discussion. I think a lot of wrestling fans are talking about is AEW is pandering a lot towards the hardcore wrestling fans. And that's cool and all for now. You know, a lot of the hardcore wrestling fans are going to be into this because it reminds them of the Monday Night Wars back when WCW was competing with Monday Night Raw. That's what all of us are, you know, used to. That's what a lot of us hardcores are used to now for someone like me i was born in 1997 i did not grow up on monday night wars because by the time i started watching wrestling it was over and wcw was dead for me i couldn't get into it my little sister she couldn't get into it because she didn't even know what the monday night wars were unless someone explained it to her because it was already dead before she was born i told her i said hey nxt is airing on the usa network and she knows about NXT because I have took her to NXT TakeOver Philadelphia one year ago. And she loved that show. She enjoyed it so much. And we all of us enjoyed it. We witnessed Johnny Gargano versus Adorante Sin Almas. She was into all the women's spot. Like she was, she loved that show. She loved the Velveteen Dream. So that got her into NXT. She doesn't watch week to week. She doesn't watch it week to week. But she makes an effort to watch most, if not all, the TakeOver events ever since then. She watches Raw... And now that NXT is coming to TV and it's a little bit more easily accessible for her to watch, I told her, hey, you have NXT coming to TV and you have this new wrestling show that I was telling you about. Which one would you watch? And instinctively, 
Her answer was NXT because WWE is all she knows. So my point out of this video is that for AEW and NXT, they're going head to head soon. I think both sides need to focus on the grand picture and that is their whole entire audience. NXT is consisted of a lot of hardcore fans. That's what it's been for years now. A lot of WWE fans don't watch NXT. It's the hardcores that watch NXT week to week, every single takeover. So having to convert them is not going to be too hard. Now converting a WWE fan that also watch NXT to watching NXT won't be too hard because all they need to do is advertise NXT every single week from here on out on Raw and SmackDown. That's all they need to do. That's easy. You could pop a big rating for the first show. Keeping them around is as contingent on if the show was good or not, which I'm sure it will be because it's NXT. They have a great roster. So converting a WWE fan who doesn't watch NXT, to start watching NXT week to week is not going to be too hard. The hard part is converting an NXT fan or a WWE fan to watch AEW. So the question is, what would AEW have to do to convert the wrestling fans? Because like I said earlier, yes, you can keep the hardcore wrestling fans around, but in the grand scheme of things, you have to gain everybody. You can't just reach for the people who only watch AEW and New Japan and everything else. You have to find a way to get people who are not watching your product, who are not into other wrestling promotions, to watch your wrestling promotion. And yes, being on TV is so much easier. There's a lot of wrestling fans out there who do not watch New Japan Pro Wrestling because they're not about to purchase New Japan World. They don't like the fact that they have to go far and beyond in order to watch it. Yes, it's on Access TV, but not everyone has Access TV. Or on top of that, maybe they don't like the fact that Access TV is on a delay because what they're, you're seeing happened maybe a month ago. AEW's happening real time, so that's different. But my question to you guys is what if you're trying to convert your family, your friends who only know of WWE into AEW, what are you gonna do? Like what will be your target point? What is your motivation point in order to convert them? Because just having a wrestling show that's great is not going to convert somebody. You need to do a lot more to convince somebody who only knows of one thing to just go over to the other. Because here's the thing you got to consider. It's not like AEW and NXT are happening on two different points in time. They're happening on the same day on two different channels at the exact same time. So wrestling fans are going to need to choose. They're not going to sit here and they're not going to watch NXT and AEW on two different screens at the same time because it's unnecessary when you have DVR. So how are you going to get those wrestling fans to choose AEW over NXT? I want to see this discussion in the comment section. So comment down below. Let me know. I love you guys always and I will talk to you all later. Peace out guys.